what is up guys gail right here welcome back to the youtube channel hopefully you guys are doing fantastic today i am here with a don machi memory of freeze beginner's guide and today i'm going to be detailing the best way to start don machi memory of freeze and how you guys can get the best possible start as well now of course if you guys go on to enjoy this video hit that like button and of course subscribe to the youtube channel it would be greatly appreciated and we will be bringing you guys daily don machi memory of freeze content so keep an eye out on the channel for sure now of course like i said i am been playing this game or i have been playing this game i don't know why i said i have been it doesn't make sense i have been playing this game for nearly four and a half years now so i may forget some stuff that may be very very important for a lot of players so let me know if i missed out on anything down below in the comment section if you guys have been playing a decent amount of time of the game and if you may have started the game recently let me know what would you guys mention where you know some things you wish you knew about the game starting off right that would be the best thing possible would love to see some interaction in the comments so let me know in the comments what do you guys suggest to other players about how to start the game off so the game we once you download the game and install it that is the first thing you do you're given a tutorial basically of where you run with bell it shows you like what you do in the move set and everything i've shown you guys how the game works if you start up the game it would be very similar to that where you'd go into the quest mode and then you'd slowly progress through in terms of like oh you attack the minotaur and then you die basically because it just shows you're not powerful enough right then you're taken to this lobby screen basically where you're allowed to do one free gotcha pull of any four star now I will be putting up a video of a character I pulled that I think is going to be fantastic for starting players. But there are a couple of other characters that I would like to mention as well. So let's go over the album because this is a perfect place for you guys to see what characters I am referring to now. So it's going to take some time in loading, uh, unfortunately, but it's okay. Um, so if you scroll all the way down, um, I want to show some characters that I didn't pull but i would suggest people go for as well if i were to scroll down and if it wouldn't be a little bit laggy for some reason there we go okay i need to scroll down a little bit slowly maybe it's being a little bit too hasty in that all right so the first character i suggest a lot of people pull is this one ray is a great great character and a great support unit she allows you to debuff your foe so just one enemy so it's great for record buster and one enemy battles and on top of that she also buffs your team giving them sa gate charge which is very important because it makes it faster to pull off your special arts and then you get a magical and dexterity increase which is great on top of that there are some more units like for example this unit she's a bit of an old one and she has been power crept a lot in recent years with some other units including a unit variation of herself but in my opinion she's still very very solid because what she does is great she debuffs the enemies str and magic just like the ray that i showed you guys but she does it to all enemies that's why it's foes instead of foe and on top of that she d gives a heal to all allies and increases the amount of t uh, turns the status buff is available and the status debuff on the enemies is available so again it just keeps your enemies buffs or debuffs i should say ongoing and keeps your buffs ongoing as well i think those two things are fantastic things you really need and on top of that her special arts is great with her being able to increase your strength and magic by a hundred percent for three turns which you can extend using her own skill of yosuga so really good unit there highly recommend you pull her also if you can one of the two units you should try and pull and the final unit that i pulled and i highly recommend you guys go for her if you're interested in war games or the pvp side of things and in general she'll be good for a lot of basic content as well is if i go over here and if i could get to uh one of the views that i got um if i can see it it's not appearing on this list maybe i have to actually pick her up from the gift box this is actually something i've not done in a very long time because i do know that i literally picked her up so you guys get a lot of rewards here as well which by the way you should try and pick up it's very very important you pick all of this stuff up because you guys get some really good stuff in here and i'm gonna mention what stuff you exactly get once we go to the character list again so you get a bunch of iris i don't know how much iris that was but it looked like 2500 iris which you guys can see. well yeah it's basically 2500 iris that is effectively six multis given to you right there and then really good already but if i were to go to my party which is the first thing you should also do is just go to your party um you can see that you can't really unlock the last slots because your rank is not high enough we'll come on to that in just a second but yes these are the characters you get now this unit is 
crazy good because what what you get from this unit is a free max limit broken character for free and he's a summitable character as well but it doesn't matter he's still going to be so good for you guys early on in the game and he'll just carry you through a bunch of the quests and stuff the second character and this is the character you should probably try and reroll is this ryu now specifically why i say this ryu is because she is a monster once you get higher into the um battles basically or higher higher into the war games category you'll see a lot of people running her and that's primarily because if i can actually go to the album and look at her because i can't show you her skills through the uh actual menu of her we have to level her up and everything if i were to just scroll down and go to ryu potentially if i can um anytime soon game thank you very much there are a lot of Ryu's. there she is so if i were to go to this ryu and show you guys her skills the third skill is her main one her first and second skills aren't that crazy they're decent but they're not crazy the third skill is what you want to see you get a hp and mp heal and an extra heal for 10% every for every two turns so at the end of the turn you get that extra heal but she also nullifies physical and magic attacks two times if you stack that on with the assist versions of where you can nullify physical or magic attacks that's four nullifications in total you're free for those four turns now of course you would have to pull those assists as well but it's very vital you guys go for these guys so with that being said i've mentioned three characters you should go for as a beginner so now you just put in your assists like i said assists are very vital in this game as well you want to try and build your units and give them assists as well they give you guys a buff that would basically mean or a debuff on the enemies that doesn't get cancelled it cannot be cancelled by any of the enemies or your allies as well so it's very 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 vital that you try and get as many of these assists as you can and just try and stock up on those because they also have a lower rarity in the gacha so just try and do that if you guys can now the first thing you want to do once you're done building your team whatever it is just throw it together because your main unit is going to be that Ar argonaut bell basically this free unit you get from that's max limit broken that is the one you get you don't have any resources to work with initially you got zero valis your stamina is low what is next well just like any other gacha game your main objective is to do the quest mode right just go into the quest mode and start doing it once you start doing the quest mode you want to just then be able to do the other stages because you can unlock other stuff from there on right now obviously because we haven't unlocked anything we're just starting out this is a very fresh account there is no point in you know worrying about anything else you're you're not going to be able to unlock the arena you're not going to be able to unlock the guild system or the familiar system until you do episode two same with the blacksmith at episode seven these are very important things and you can't do them right now so what's the next objective after that well right now you should be doing like i said your quests and along with this if i were to skip this guild missions thing which you can not an issue you want to try and do these missions because they will give you a lot of currency they will give you a lot of stuff you will be able to get more tickets uh, for free as well i'm not gonna unlock any of these uh, menus or anything but basically you just want to try and do all of these so that you can effectively get these amazing rewards you get a four star ticket if you do the rookie adventure mission there is a next step after this as well which you want to do so priority just try and do all these missions it's very very vital you do this now if you're looking to re-roll as well just to add on you can technically re-roll and see if you can get another one of the units i mentioned or another really good four star any will work to be honest as long as you get another four star you're gonna be living good you can reroll but trust me it's not really that worth it purely because well one in order to reroll you would have to uninstall the game and everything or clear the data and it's just not worth it in all honesty i would not advise it in all it, to be honest you get a good start anyways you guys get a free guaranteed four star ticket clearly here and 11 draw as well so if you want to reroll there's a lot of four stars you can get really early on but if, is it worth it I wouldn't necessarily say so just take what you can get and go from there because everything at anyway 60 plus zero without any dupes is going to be decent at best you want to try and get dupes to go crazy from there on now all right so instead of uh, looking at this game now that we're done with looking at what your uh, what is available in the base gacha or the base game without you know diving into the quest mode and everything i'm gonna switch over to my version of the game i'm gonna go to my uh game right now as you guys can see everything is unlocked and ready to go um as you guys can see my name is actually also gail Riot instead of giovanni now 
which by the way i don't know why i thought of gianni i think i was watching something pokemon related so that's why but that's besides the point um so the next things you uh, want to do once you start unlocking your stuff now you'll start unlocking your boost and event and some other stuff initially right your focus should be trying to build up your resources right as you guys saw you don't have much valis valis is going to be crucial for a lot of starting players because i even even i remember back in the day i was struggling for valis valis is obviously the um coin currency of the game it's not the premium currency but it is the currency you'll be using to upgrade your weapons upgrade your characters assists and stuff like that so you want to try and build up your valis and the thing is this i think is the most important currency early game especially fauna and exilia come by really w well and easy uh in my opinion personally just because if you're doing the event as well like for example if i were to go to the knights of fiana event you could easily just go to the gacha box that is in there and you get a bunch of fauna and books so i think fauna and books is very easy to accumulate but valis it's a little bit trickier so you want to invest some of your currency into or your stamina into valis farming a little bit just early on in the game of course one more thing i should mention as well is initially i would say focus on your story because and this is a big because a lot of stuff is a unlocked via the story one as you guys saw earlier on when i showed you guys that everything was locked but also you get a lot of iris from here this is where you're going to be wanting to go in to just start pulling from banners basically and it's very very vital you do this event and these quests basically once you're done around let's say i would say once you're around episode 20 on uh, bell story that's when you should transfer over to potentially doing these events these events can be cleared by any player in my opinion and you should just try and do as much as you can and try and pull from these boxes basically because they give you a lot of stuff like i said you get a bunch of tickets especially during the anniversary of course if you're watching this after the anniversary you will only get three star guaranteed tickets from these boxes but just generally you get so much stuff you get fall you get exilia books um in certain cases you get cp items and stuff like that which i'll come on to in just a second but you just get so much stuff here that i would say get to bells episode 20 first and foremost and then transfer over immediately to the events because that's where you get a bunch of your currency and a lot of items to exchange with like here as well you get a bunch of uh crafting items and crafting materials you can use to enhance and upgrade your weapons Along with that, you get a bunch of Fallen to exchange with. You can also exchange Valis in here, which is another big thing here. If I would say, if there's anything early game you want to exchange for, of course, you want to try and exchange for the Ascension Fallen. You want to try and exchange for the, um, not the guaranteed tickets. I would say you can avoid that initially, but you want to exchange for these hero medals and amulets so that you get more extra dupes and hero light. But I would say the priority should be Valis, man. Valis is so, so key early game. It's crazy. But once you're at a good point, like I am 200 million-ish uh, Valis, sorry, you're fine. You're more than fine, all right? So there is that. So try and do the events when you can. Try and exchange the shop if possible um, to the maximum capability you can. Of course, these events are up to the 31st. So if you're watching this and you're just getting into the game, there's still a while to go. So you want to try and focus on this. So story and then event those are the two focuses you should have right now the one thing i would say is of course people will be scared about going into like pvp modes early on in the game but in my opinion try and do as best as you can because in all honesty you want to just try and get the rewards nothing else you don't want to get bragging rights or anything just try and get into the top 10,000 or top 15,000 if possible uh, or top 20,000 i should say more so it doesn't matter 15 20,000 but you want to just try and get that iris you want to get the iris rewards it's the same case with war games right now there's war games training which you can ignore for the most part um but it's a way to just judge your units and test out units if you really want to but uh, even war games i would say just try and do it see what you can do because there is no harm you're not losing out on anything if you just try and throw your units in there and get some good iris and in returns because that iris will come in massive handy uh when you start going into the gacha side of things and you want to start pulling for these units right so very very vital that you go for that now of course i've talked about the characters i've talked about the story talked about the events talked about whether you should do pvp early on or not which i think you should blacksmith let's go to the blacksmith now here is where things get a little bit tricky i will make an in detailed guide about how exactly the blacksmith works and stuff 
But the key thing you need to understand about this game and the weapons here is that there are a lot of weapons that are specifically made and tailored towards characters. So, like, for example, Durandal, or, or Desperate, I should say, not Durandal, but Desperate here, for example, has a unit effect where only eyes can unlock its true potential. So if I were to put this weapon on any other character, the stats would be much lower. You wouldn't be able to uh, accumulate the best attributes from this list. It wouldn't massive. It wouldn't take from this attributes. It would just ignore them entirely. So whenever you craft a weapon, you want to try and go for the right character. And you can see what the situation is. So if you were to put in, say, Lily Ruka, and based on what you've seen, I mean, for example, if you look at this pretty little uh, or physical uh, Lily Ballista Robin is a physical version of Lily Ruka's weapon. And Lily Ballista Robin is the magic version of Lily's weapon. If it's uh, if it says M, it's a magical version of the physical weapon, and if it's a uh, if it says P in the beginning, it's a physical version of the magic weapon. So just keep an eye out on that front. But you can easily just you know navigate your way and just easily know which unit uses what. So you don't have to worry about that too much about getting lost about all the all of that. Armor is a very very same thing. Now this is a lot more trickier because there are a lot of armors that you're going to be using for record buster for war games for just generally uh, familiar events as well. So this one I'm going to specify more in detail in the blacksmith guide and the crafting guide. For now just know that your best option is to go for breastplate if you can. That is universally really good but there are other weapons you want to try and build in order to start working on record buster for example this glorious anklet and some of the ropes as well as these revolving amulets so just keep an eye out on that early on i would say for now just focus on breastplate i would say on top of that you've got your upgrading and your uh, smelting and whatnot these are all things to just upgrade your weapon there is also equipment ascension so just focus on those things and or you'll be fine just initially just get to the point where you can craft these weapons upgrade them to like 40 50 maybe and from there on you'll kind of get to grips about how the game exactly works with smelting and stuff of course i will be making specific guides for each and every part i'm talking about so i'm gonna i mentioned the blacksmith i've mentioned you know the character team building side of things iris farming and stuff like that those will be all in specific guides this is more so just an overview of how you should be approaching the game once you get in so the first thing so again i'm gonna reiterate where we've gone uh, again so character build a party of all the characters you've gotten go from there do the story try and get to at least episode 20 and then shift over to the events once you're in the events start farming because those are very very important to just building a good core set of materials for you to use to upgrade your characters and weapons following that blacksmith very very important as well as the arena those are your main key areas you should be challenging very early on in the game now of course there are other things like the familia familia is going to be very very vital especially um you know there are a lot of cases where familia events come around and you, there is no like record buster or war games so you just want to try and integrate yourself into any random familia early on in the game and then maybe in the future once you are feeling a bit more ready you can go to the danmachi discord or the danmachi reddit or any part of the community where you can get yourself recruited in by another familiar that is much higher on the ladder i would say initially though try and focus on yourself more so than the familiar is what i will say of course um now the other thing i want to mention and this is the last thing i will talk about before we wrap up of course once we get to team building i'm going to talk a lot more about hero ascension memorias uh and outfit uh, and the character list in much more detail but i want to talk about the character list initially because this is a very vital part of the game once you start getting characters you will start filling out this list of characters that you are seeing on your screens right now and when you offer them presents which you can like i said get easily from just farming events or using the monthly shop this is what you do so you want to give them a gift so let's say i want to give lily ruka 19 of these single flowers for example she'll get to cp level 30 and she gets basically what is a reward and some of these rewards are 
stats actually so you want to try and get these units to at least early on in the game around 10 ish across the board if possible uh depending on what units you use try and focus on the units you're using in order to maximize their rewards as well so for example until B uh, cp level 35 they actually get all stats beyond that it's just hp and mp which is decent but nothing too crazy i would say right and then beyond that it's just iris valis and ascension fauna which is good but nothing too you know vital in my opinion but what you want to do is just try and get them all to be uh, CP level 35. I've been playing this game for four and a half years and I haven't done it. So I wouldn't expect a lot of you guys to do it. But I have a lot of units that are 35 or higher just because of usage over time. So the way to increase CP is through those items or just having them on your team and doing a bunch of quests and events. So just focus on that if you guys can and it'll be sorted out. No issues on that front. And then one more thing I should mention before we wrap up is the shop. Let's talk about the shop because there's a lot of stuff in here that I could talk about. Again, I'll go in detail about the guy in, in a, gu a separate guide. But the Saros and Dolb shop are very important because they reset every month. They give you tickets, they give you the CP items, and a couple of other things. As a play as a player myself, I would focus on getting at least Hero Light if you can, which is a bit tricky because you need four star dupes and you need to sell them in order to get that so it's very tricky but it's not impossible once you get to a, a, a stable level um ignore that i'm gonna blur that out that was a notification i forgot to put my phone on do not disturb but otherwise you can get tickets you can get book of nobilities and stuff like that because those those that white material the saros is obtained via three star dupes and it's super easy to get them so yeah, don't worry about that front. So overall, effectively, to just give you guys a TLDR, and I'm going to go over it one more time. First thing you want to do, re-roll. Try and get the characters I mentioned, if possible. Try and get at least one of the characters I mentioned through the redo gacha. It's very important you guys do that. The second thing you want to do, build your party. Whatever your party is, let her rip. It doesn't matter whatever it is. Right now, of course, I have like a broken ass team here. But initially, it's just going to be super basic. That Argonaut that's 80, level 80 and plus 5 is going to carry you through a majority of the story and events as well. And on top of that, as you're doing those quests, you're going to level up your units. You're going to rank up as well. You're going to be able to unlock the rest of the slots. You're going to be able to unlock the rest of the game. And that's very important. So just build your party immediately. Don't use that 3-star bell that they give you just initially. Remove him. He's not required at all. Next thing you want to do after that is go and do story. Just power through it it's like Do uh, dokkan it's like fgo it's like any other gacha game you just want to power through the story as much as possible i said that level 20 or episode 20 is the best place to stop and in all honesty it probably is around that point you want to just get it done and dust it i would say 20 to 25 some people would say 29 as well because that's the last part of the main uh, the first season of danmachi but i would say 20 is a good place to stop for a, a, a starting player you can easily get to 29 in my opinion with that argonaut bell but i would say 20 is a good place to stop because if you are joining the game during the anniversary right now your focus should be trying to do these three quests in all honesty try and do these three event stories because they give you a really good set of rewards and they will help you build up your material box now once your events are done go into the arena try and get an, a reward as much as you can try and get as high as possible today it's closed of course but tomorrow morning by the time this video is up war games will be live so you want to just try and use your passes whenever you can and try and get as good of a score as possible it doesn't matter if you're in the braver rank it doesn't matter if you're in battle princess whatever rank you are in it'll be good enough as long as you're just getting a score and then you're getting the iris rewards that's more than important the next thing you want to do once you have unlocked everything is go into the blacksmith and start crafting the weapons specifically for the characters you know you're working with so in some cases it'll be bell specific weapon which is the hestia knife then you have uh eyes is desperate and so on and so forth there's a lot of weapons you can do that and in order to get the crafting materials you'll have to go into boost and do the crafting quest but i'm going to talk about more about that in the actual blacksmith guide video and like I said, the final thing you want to focus on is your character list as well as the shop. Keep an eye out on those. If you have the resources to buy stuff from the shop, 
try and do your best again i will have specific guides for every single thing in this game i know i've been kind of saying that but it feels like there's going to be way too much to cover in one video so i'm going to be segregating them into different videos so there will be one video on specifically how to farm iris second video on blacksmith farming and stuff like that so keep an eye out on the channel i hope i could kind of give you guys an idea on exactly how to go about with the game initially once you get into it and the one thing i will say more so than anything else when i say power through the story power through the battle parts of the story of course when you get the opportunity to i would encourage you guys to read the story because that is the beauty of danmachi more so than anything else and i would say that if it is not fun in that regards where it's like oh it's just i'm skipping the story and it's not fun slow down a bit it doesn't matter yes an event can go by but there will be more events coming up there's going to be a summer event i think in after this it should be a summer event and then after that there's going to be halloween and stuff like that so keep an eye out there's going to be more and more content i'm going to be doing more on the channel as well so you'll know what's coming up but for now i would say focus on those things and uh, you will be having a good start thank you guys so much for watching this video hopefully you enjoyed it this was a little bit of a longer video as well than i thought i thought this would be like a 20 minute video but it is what it is sometimes beginners guides can be that long of course um let me know in the comment section down below if you are experienced what have i missed out on that you guys think is very very important and uh let me know what you guys think um about this guide as well i appreciate all feedback as well if you guys think i need to be a little bit more coherent let me know i think it's a little bit better if i can just see the game and go from there because if i know st down stuff and then try and do it i'm probably gonna forget something so i feel like it's much better for me to visually go in and try my best to you know give you guys a live sort of guide effectively but once again appreciate all of y'all for watching it's been gil Riot signing out thank you guys bye bye